about glass. Um, I decided to get my 1030 class covered because I'm still just feeling anxious and whew, teaching that class is a little bit challenging for me and I just feel like I need to take more time um, for my mental health. So I am going to do that today and I hated canceling that class just now because it was waitlisted and full with so many beautiful people in there but I need to be honest with myself and um, I send everybody a little message. Um, so that makes me feel a little bit better so they kind of know what's up. I'm not just like bailing on them. But anyway, I'm gonna take class and then I'm probably just gonna head home and chill for a little bit. Okay, I just finished boot camp. I was going to both take the 9 a.m. flow and also uh, teach the 10.30 I was scheduled today, but I think I need to take a mental health day. I've just been like having a hard time being at the studio. And what I think it is, I was telling Nick this yesterday, just trying to figure out what, what's what been going on and why I have so much anxiety. And I think um, kind of imprinting um, kind of where I was last year at this time. Um, and it was a really dark place that we were both in and uh, just we were having, I mean, it was one of our low points, I think. And just because I decided to shut down Spark um, and reevaluate literally everything. And uh, it was, I don't know, it was just challenging because I had to really reevaluate, like, like, do I really want my business? And, you know, it is the business what makes me happy and just kind of, looking at looking at my my life and everything just objectively and um I guess just figuring out like is this what I want and I don't know I think that's just all coming back to me obviously I'm so happy where I am and like I love I love the business and um and all of that but I think it's just like one of those things when you, if you have a trauma or you have something big like a big event happen in your life um I feel like it's just sort of it's dormant there until like that season comes around again or that month or um, that date like around that date comes again so that's kind of I think what I'm what I'm experiencing right now and I think I just need to take time like my 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 mind and my heart just says that I need to take time so that's what I'm going to do and uh, part of me is just feeling guilty because I didn't want to disappoint anyone by, you know, subbing out my class last minute, but I did send them a little note and just say, Hey, like Sarah is subbing on the 10 30. Um, I need to take a mental health day and just, I don't know. I, a big part of who I am is being transparent, um, with as best I can with what's going on with me and just to the people I care about. And so I just felt the need to be transparent and, um, yeah, I, I know people will give me grace, but I just, I don't know. It's just hard not to feel guilty um, or, you know, feeling like I'm letting people down. But at the same time, I really need to take care of myself. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I am headed home now, I guess. And I am probably going to hike my dog. I'll, um, I'll change clothes. I'm just wearing a sports bra and shorts right now, but I need to put something else on. But yeah, my dog needs to be exercised. He's been kind of going a little crazy lately. So I feel bad for him and I want to make sure that he gets exercised before Nick and I go to lunch with some friends today. So that's what I'm going to do. And we'll take it from there. Nick is at the second studio with um, one of our friends. They are... Um, putting up the rest of our wood wall. Uh, we have quite a few wood walls in that space. So uh, hopefully they'll they'll be able to finish it up today, if not tomorrow or sometime this week. So that is happening at the other space. And yeah, I just, I feel like a weight's been lifted off my shoulders that I don't have to teach again today. And I'm glad that I did get a class in and I didn't sub out both of them. I would have felt really bad, so. But yeah, we go to lunch with some friends today, or not really lunch, it's, um, she has to pick up some wine. Um, she, uh, um, Ancient Peaks, she's a member there. And they have charcuterie boards there, so uh, we'll do that and do some wine tasting, I think. And yeah, and it's my birthday week, people. Oh my gosh, like I've been so excited for this birthday for some reason, even though I'm turning 36 and that's my late 30s now. I'm not ready for that, but I don't know. I just feel like, there's been so much going on and Nick and I really haven't 
been able to take take a like an actual break from things and like do something fun and celebrate something fun so um, besides Thanksgiving that was fun but just like just for us like something something for me something like a day just where I get to choose what I want to do and what I get to do I think that I don't know why my birthday gives me permission to do that unfortunately that's just how it is but okay I can't I can't hold it anymore and I need to try this. I didn't, I made these yesterday, the, uh, my homemade Snickers and I haven't even tried them yet. And I've been thinking about them all morning. So I just need to do it. It's like 9.30 right now in the morning. So I'm just gonna choose the really small one. It looks so good. Okay, ready. A little hard, probably won't too. Mmm. Probably want to like thaw it out for a couple minutes before you eat that because you don't want to chip a tooth. Oh my god. But this is so good. It's almost too good. Okay. Those are dangerous. Wait, 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 wait. All right. First, we have to hook this up for the madman. Come on. Okay, pop. And we're off. He needs this and he's so happy already. Let's roll down the windows even though it's freaking frigid. I just got here and realized that I forgot my AirPods. I'm stoked about it. <laughs> okay, well, it's actually the perfect day to hike. It's super, it's cloudy, but it's not too cold. So we're happy about that is so excited he knows this trail so i'm sure he smells all of the familiar smells this is my favorite for my um for my face and my arms I think we're gonna probably be taking this off pretty quickly here i am already warm but probably because i also have the heater on a little bit okay the shoulders get the chest I'm so bummed I forgot my AirPods. Like, didn't even think about it until I was like pulling into the parking lot and I was like, oh, I'm just gonna listen to like good music, maybe a podcast. And then I'm like, oh wait, you didn't bring, you didn't bring anything to listen to that. That's neat for you. I don't really know if I want to bring my sweatshirt at all. Do I even have, yes. Oh my God. I almost thought I didn't have my hiking shoes and I was gonna be like, you know what? I give up. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> so relatable. <Yeah. laughs> time with the puppy nature oh heck yeah needed this so something that really did bring me joy this morning was um the boy band bar playlist that i had today oh my gosh all the good stuff i think i'll link it down below just in case you guys are feeling a little nostalgia and uh i want to take it back to your boy band obsessed days or maybe that's just me but it's worth a listen <laughs> look at this view wow look what i just discovered on my car a really bad scrape really bad awesome freaking awesome it goes without saying but <sighs> on the flip side ted and i really did enjoy our hike we had some quality time and that was really good so i'm bummed that i had to come back to that but anyways 
it's just a car. It's just a car. And luckily I wasn't hurt. Nobody was hurt. It was, it's just sideswiped. Anyways, I'm going home. I am going to bang out some emails and um, get changed and stuff like that. And then I think Nick is going to come back home first or I'm gonna grab him, I'm not sure. He'll probably wanna shower and change and stuff. And yeah, that's basically what's going on next, peeps. That was